Yes, but uh, yes, this vapor canopy. I believe it's gonna because what happened in 1902 with those two scientists that were at Martinique studying Saint Pierre, when the volcano had erupted and they were there studying the phenomena of the island, just being there studying that in the presence of of a, of a volcanic explosion that had incinerated 30,000 people, where only one man convicted to die lived. Did y'all know that in 1902 Saint Martinique? Uh, Pierre exploded. The volcano exploded and killed every single person in the city. Everyone. Now, there are Protestants who claim that God did this on purpose because a week before the, the volcanic explosion, Catholics appeared in by ship on the island and they induced the local population to burn their Bibles because the papacy has always been of the opinion that the that the Bible should never be in the hands of the of the layman. Only the laity should have should have a Bible. The clergy. Bibles were for the priests, not for the public. This has always been the Catholic the Catholic belief. And in 1902, Catholics appeared and said, man, if y'all want to bring your your uh and this was this actually happened because there were people who were reporting it. people who survived way out in the bay on the ships and reported that there was a controversy going on in the city of of, of uh, Martinique or Saint Pierre, and uh, the con the controversy was about burning Protestant Bibles. They they had they hold a book burning and the Catholics got together. A week later, one hundred percent of the entire 30,000 member community was incinerated in seconds when the volcano erupted. The only survivor, one man survived out of the entire city, and he was condemned to die. And the only reason he survived is because they had put him in an underground dungeon, and he was far below the blast radius. But he still had burns. Now, I don't know from the, uh, I know there's many accounts of, the, uh, of, of uh, this event, I don't know if he was later killed uh, because he was sentenced to die. I don't know what happened to that man. I don't even know if he survived weeks later because he was badly burned. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that one man survived that entire entire episode. Even the ships way out in the bay had been incinerated. They got blasted apart. So other ship captains wrote it in their logs when they seen what happened. But, but I believe that, yes, uh, the human genome is fantastic. And it has everything to do with what whatever the biosphere is. That's what we adapt to. And we adapt to it within weeks. Within weeks. It also depends on how healthy you are. Now, don't quote me. But I have a suspicion that there has been an agenda for the past two years to go ahead and put something in the human genome that's going to keep those changes from happening to those who have succumbed to it. You can interpret that any way you want to. Let's see. But I do know that they're already planning for the return of the vapor canopy. How do I know this? Because they're pushing solar bad. They're pushing solar really bad. They're also pushing electric really. They want our infrastructures not to operate on, on fossil fuels. They want our infrastructures to operate on solar, wind, and electricity. Why? Because when the vapor canopy returns, none of those will be available. Those are a thing of the past. Whole cities, whole civilizations shut down on the surface. They don't have power plants. Electricity is not working. They don't have they don't have fossil fuel industries to support the 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 electrical the electrical grids. They don't have under a vapor canopy conditions. There's no wind. It's not even necessary. Rainstorms are a thing of the past. Remember, in the book, even the book of Genesis, which covers the vapor canopy period, in the book of Genesis, it says, And the ancients knew not rain. For every morning a mist covered the ground, and every evening a mist covered, a dew covered the ground, and watered all and, and, and watered all the holes and all the all the plants and all that. That's humidity. But during the daytime, that same humidity would, would rise back up to the sky. It would be a purple haze. People would peep the whole sky. This now ancient, you have to understand, ancient American traditions are, are the most specific about the vapor canopy, not the other way around, not the Egyptian, not the not the Sumerian. The Egyptians, to the Egyptians and the Sumerians, it was all about the the appearance of a new god after the flood. Remember in the Sumerian record, 
the, the flood survivor at first is called Zasudra, but after the flood tradition is over, he's called Anapishtim. But Anapishtim is prefixed with the word Utu, and Utu was a very was a very obscure god in the Sumerian pantheon who only appeared very late in Sumerian history. And he was the god who was represented as the sun. And in Babylon, they changed his name to Shamash or Shamash. He was the sun. But his original Sumerian name was Utu. This all, the appearance of Utu was because the vapor canopy. The vapor canopy collapsed, and all of a sudden the Sumerians had to create a new god because now they got this bright thing in the sky. This is the origin of the rainbow because during the vapor canopy world, there were no rainbows. There's no way a prismatic effect could have occurred. The sun was never visible. They never had a bright sky during the vapor canopy. During the vapor canopy world, uh, ambient radiation is what made plants and animals grow to astonishing sizes, but that radiation came from two sources. One of them was the sky. The other was from volcanism, because volcanoes were always going off under the, va under the vapor canopy. And do your homework, and you'll find out from geology that there are, there, are, there are things called ambient radiation. I didn't make that up. Ambient radiation does make things grow to astonishing sizes. Ambient radiation does heal wounds. It does all kinds of things. It's a rare form of radiation. It's not, it's not the harmful kind. 